Right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And salutes to Archim teaching his word to the elect in truth and sincerity. This is Izar from GMS London, UK. And uh, this video, I want to speak about the ICBM missiles in the scriptures. All right. Um, so when, when you type in ICBM in Google, what comes up, all right, it says, it says an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, is a ballistic missile with a minimum minimum range of 5,000 kilometers, um, primarily designed for nuclear, when we go into that, all right. So it says primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery, delivering one or more thermonuclear warheads. All right, there you go. Let me go an image there. Okay, so there, there you see it, man. All right, and those nuclear warheads, all right, they're the ones that that you know packs the most damage. All right, that's where the power is. All right. Now, this level of technology, all right, is, is, you know, unlike any other missiles that they've had in the past, man. Okay, this is, you know, uh, you know, different from the, the, the A-bomb, all right? These nuclear missiles are, 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 you know, the most powerful missiles that they have. You know, it's, it's you know, one of a kind, but the Lord has given them. You know this, uh, you know this weapon, man. This this great sword, as as the scriptures say, all right. And whose blessing was was the sword? That was Esau, the, the wicked. And that's what these Edomites have, man. But really, it's gonna be the the end of their kingdom, because their blessing is really gonna be their downfall. And the Lord is is you know so great. He's got these other nations as well that have these missiles, man. And they are going to be used. They're going to be used in this third world's war. All right. So it says, and also when you check up here, it says uh, trajectory. Okay. It says an intercontinental ballistic missile trajectory consists of three parts. The powered flight portion, the free flight portion, which constitutes most of the flight time. And the re-entry phase where the missile re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Okay? So when it's shot into the uh, atmosphere, all right, and, and when it's flying, you know, uh, aimed and shot at its target, all right, it actually leaves the atmosphere. And then when it comes back down into the atmosphere to hit its target, that's when, you know, it, it's, you know it's hit its target. Okay, and you know what? And that is found in the scriptures, man. So I'm going to uh, start with 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. It says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp. All right, so Yahweh Bar Shmi is the one that is controlling these missiles. Okay, now it says that his right hand bendeth the bow. Now, the bow representing those uh, nuclear silos. All right, that those uh, missiles are going to be shot out of, okay, and that's what the the is talking about when it says his arrows, okay, the arrows represent those nuclear missiles. All right, now it says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. So yeah, it's not actually talking about a bow and arrow, all right. That's what it represents. It, it represents the nuclear missiles being shot from those those silos. Okay, because what action happens when you're shooting an arrow from a bow, right? It's being uh, pulled back, right? And it's being launched, you know, and shot from the bow. Okay, now modern day, that is those nuclear missiles being shot from their silos, man. Okay, now it says, And his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay, so yeah, ultimately, you know, that's when America 
you know, is hit with those nuclear missiles. All right. Because America is going to be hit the worst as an end result of World War Three. All right. Now, a lot of these uh, nations, you know, and, and, you know, especially America, they'll, they'll talk about their missile defense systems. But that's really it's you know, it's going to be of no effect. All right. It's really pointless because it says it shall not miss. Because really, who's controlling these missiles? It's the Lord. OK, and the Lord is the one that's controlling these nations for when the time is going to come, when these nuclear missiles are going to be dropped, when those buttons are going to be pressed. All right. So this is what the scriptures is telling you, man, is letting you know that these missiles are going to be used. All right. And America is going to be worst hit. OK. So let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So, all right, so ancient warfare being fought with swords, with spears, all right, multitudes of men charging at each other in armies. All right, that was the you know style of fighting in the past. Okay, you know, uh, men being uh, thrust through with the sword. All right, blood-stained garments. That's how ancient warfare was fought. The difference with this time in the last days, all right, is going to be with fire, okay? Because it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this war, this, you know, war, which, you know, uh, you know, is, you know, World War Three, is referred to, you know, um, and uh, often called the war to end all wars. Now, why is that? All right, that's because... The destruction is going to be so great that, you, you know, you ain't going to have, you know, any other uh, type of warfare that's going to that's going to be on that level. OK, this is the one that's going to end it. All right. You know, you had that saying that uh, World War Four is going to be fought with sticks and stones. OK, why is that? Because, Amer you know, World War Three, you know, these nations, you know, when all these missiles are used. You know, that's going to be like the last of that uh, type of war of its kind. All right. This one is going to be with burning and fuel of fire, which is ICBMs, man. All right. It's going to be nuclear warfare. All right. And America, which is Babylon in the scriptures, according to prophecy, is going to be destroyed completely. It's going to be turned into a desert. All right, and it's gonna it's gonna be felt, all right? Because what does the scripture say about the earth um, rocking back to and fro? All right, in Isaiah twenty four and verse twenty, it says, "The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again." Okay, so why is the earth going to reel to and fro like a drunkard? Because of the, the, you know, the destruction. All right, when these nuclear missiles hit, you know, America, man, the, the earth is going to feel the effects. All right, it's going to rock back and forth. The earth's going to shake violently. All right. And that destruction is going to be so great. The only way the elect are going to be delivered is they're going to have to be beamed up. They're going to have to be taken up to safety in those chariots. Because anybody left on the soil of America is not going to make it. Anyone in the, you know, blast zone in the in a radius of, of the fallout, all right? When those missiles drop, they are not going to make it. All right, and you know, all these other heathen nations, they're going to be involved, all right? And really, it's the Lord's judgment, okay? Because the nations. You know, are going to have to pay for oppressing the Lord's chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. OK, they're going to have to pay for the slavery that they've done, our captivity. They're going to have to answer for that. This is why the Lord is going to have them destroy each other. All right. Now, this is Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right. So, yeah, the captivity, the Lord's going to. Uh, uh, you know, redeem us. He's going to take the Israelites, starting with the elect, 
out of captivity. Okay, because we're in the last days. We're in the end of our captivity. We're in the final days of our uh, uh, um, oppression and captivity underneath the heathen nations, man. Okay, because the Lord is coming to redeem us. All right, because it says the captivity of Judah, I which Judah is the, the southern kingdom of Israel, the so-called uh, Negro tribes. All right, Benjamin, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and Jerusalem represents the northern kingdom of Israel. Right, the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, right, the Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, you know, the, the tribes on down, man. And it says, I, it said, verse two, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, right, which is the Lord's judgment, okay, down in the Middle East uh, uh, area, okay, Jehoshaphat meaning Yahweh Shaput, right, the Lord's judgment. Okay, so the Lord has something planned, man, and he's going to destroy them down in that area when it's time for, for that conflict, that great war. All right, it says, and will plead with them there for my people. So the Lord's going to judge them. All right, the Lord's going to have them be destroyed. He's going to pour upon his wrath upon them. Okay, and it's going to be for his people. So the Lord's going to, you know, redeem us, man. He's going to bring justice for us. He's going to destroy our enemies. And it says, For my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So how did they scatter the Lord's people? Through the transatlantic slave trade, all right, through invading our homeland, uh, Jerusalem, Israel, all right? And, and the, these heathen nations all fighting and warring uh, for parts of our own land, man, which ain't their land. You know, so the Lord is going to, you know, uh, bring the justice. Okay. The Lord is bringing this World War Three, this nuclear fire for the justice of his people, man. Because after these heathens go down, after this World War Three takes place, the kingdom of heaven will be established on the earth and the Israelites will rule forever. Starting with the elect and, and uh, beginning with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Which is a so-called black man according to Revelations Which he's going to return in the midst of this uh, destruction Okay Now we understand that the MOTB Revelations 13, 16 Has to be mandatory Before this destruction can come This is the final moments Alright The destruction with the missiles is going to be the icing on the cake At the end of our captivity Alright Because things are happening according to prophecy Alright and those nuclear missiles, they are going to come, man. Okay, because the Lord has created them for this purpose. All right, let's get that. All right, which we'll get a few scriptures before we close out. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So this is the Lord's doing. He's allowed these uh, scientists uh, um, to, to come up with the technology to have the you know fire and brimstone and to have these nuclear warheads in the form you know of, of these missiles, man, ICBMs that are able to go from you know different continents from anywhere from fifteen to thirty minutes. All right, that technology the Lord has given these nations, man. Okay, it says I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire. All right, those smiths are known. For creating weaponry, right? Forging steel, you know, iron, weaponry in the heat. Okay, and the instrument for his work, and I have created the waste to destroy, which that's what these missiles are gonna do. Okay, because it is gonna, you know, uh, appease the, the wrath of the Lord, man. The Lord is gonna be so uh passionate and angry, you know. The Lord he wants this place destroyed, man. All right, the scripture says that the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. And you're really going to see it in that day, man. You're going to see the Lord's wrath in that day, right? Because when these missiles drop, when America, you know, Babylon the Great is destroyed and these other lands that get hit, people are going to know in that day that it was of the Lord, man. Okay, and they're going to know the name Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because the man of the Lord were prophesying of this day. All right, so I'm going to close with... Uh, this is Malachi chapter 4 
and verse 1 and it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yeah and all that do wickedly shall be stubble right? and that's what you get after a fire okay after intense fires long fires you know high heat high temperature fires all that's left is stubble so everything's been burnt to coal burnt to dust right and that day is talking about the the day of that those missiles dropping man world war three Okay, now it says, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right? So this is going to be a day of punishment for the wicked. All right? Anyone that's left, you know, in America when the missiles drop, that's their judgment of the Lord, man. To be burned, to, 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 hey, to, to be uh, judged and perished in that way. All right? In those high heats of those nuclear missiles, man. So hey, I'm going to end it there. Lord willingness was edifying. All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. All right. Uh, this one was just uh, nuclear missiles in the scriptures, man. And um, yeah, I'll end it there, man. So with that, to the elect, Shalom.